right, here we are. The very it's about 11:25. That thing's wrong. And uh, it'll be right. We'll right like a week. We're going. In be the right in a week. Yeah. <laughs> no. The, uh, the tour begins. Matt has got his beard. David doesn't have a beard yet. <laughs> yeah. By the end of the by the end of the tour. Cindy Drizzle. These are real titties. They might look small, but these things are like double Z's. I'm telling you. It's like little basketballs wrapped in foam. I'm just telling you. <laughs> little basketballs wrapped in foam. Z's. Sorry, Matthew Peterson. I know it's your ex-girlfriend, but I don't really care right now. You're Anyways. Let me get a side view of your beard. We're talking about the weird beard right now. The beard. How it takes skills to grow something so gnarly as this. It's Talk just about been your beard skills. Since he's it's been all red. Since it's he's no, four. no, for real. Like, this takes a lot of time and energy. Vagina with like, a fucking razor. I literally have to do nothing for months to let this grow. This is like six months. Months in the making, half a year, baby. Hey, we're on a tour. Can we get footage of you real quick? No. No? Okay. We were gonna ask you about Bigfoot. It's the search for Bigfoot tour, and if you if you've ever seen Bigfoot around these parts, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. What is this? Big. You never heard of Bigfoot? Yeah, I've taken over as active tour manager because I feel that these guys need some discipline in their lives and I'm going to provide that to them. Um, I figure they're going to hate me by the end of the tour anyway, so I might as well make it worth my time. No. <laughs> me and Matt had champagne for breakfast. Yeah, it was good. Really? <laughs> yeah, we drank a bottle of champagne. Did you have an egg or what? Uh, no, we just saved it for breakfast. A lot of banana rama in the van. That's just that's how rappers roll. We can't listen to rap music 24/7, so we listen to banana rama, and we love it. This is actually a kind of a nice mall, so I feel really good about you taking a crap in one of the stores. Well, I've just been saving it up all day, and hey, you're the only one that tell me's yeah. bubbling. All right. Well, here's the, that, uh, the the hardest thing about being the tour manager right now is uh, keeping an eye on David when he enters like a building we haven't been in yet. <laughs> He's got this thing where he wants to walk into an, an establishment, you know, like a record shop or a hotel, you know, or a restaurant or a venue, and just, he wants to crap all over the place. He thinks that it's making a statement. <laughs> like, yeah, modern gentleman, he takes his pants off, craps, screams obscenities. Where's he right now? He's, he's in the van getting ready to crap in this building when he walks <laughs> in the door. So it's like, it's hard. I got to try to keep him from doing that. And, you know, I'm all about making a statement. And, you know, yeah, that's great. I, I, I don't want to hold him back artistically, but at the same time, it's just, I can't have it's him out of control. crapping in public places in all 11 or 12 states that we're going to be on. Hold on, tour. time out. It's hard. Time out. 
Why do you, why do you have three forks on your hot tray? Hold on. No, first of all, there's two forks and one spoon. This is for my spaghetti. Oh, this is wow. for my chicken, and this is a spoon is that you don't for my want to potatoes. Touch them together? Well, I you just thought the, it would be, want I the it would be easier. With the mashed potato? Well, I just thought it would be easier. And Plus, then, they're plastic. They're like the plastic is like a unlimited resource. It's so free. we get we get the same thing as you, right? And what does Larry decide to get? Fucking carrots, Wait, man. Let me see the camera. Also, <laughs> so I want to point out that these guys are these guys are sharing one entree. This is what happens if you're not the manager. You have to share food. I've been allotted a full meal to myself, and these no. But um, I'm gonna say fucking carrots. Bad baby. choice on the carrots, man. You went to the kitchen. <laughs> hey, that's hilarious. We're at uh, Mother's in Fargo, no, go Fargo, North Dakota. Search for Bigfoot tour. Um, Bliss is about to take a crap on the floor in the middle of this record store <laughs> to let him know that modern gentlemen were here. So uh, I won't videotape it, but I swear he's gonna do it. He promised he would. I'm gonna put the as video soon as camera. You shut on. that camera off, man. He's, it's happening. He's gonna spray diarrhea all over this building. I don't know how they're gonna take it. Oh we gotta let him know, modern gentlemen, we're here. That's how we roll, man. That is how we roll. Fuck the government. This country is ours. Make some noise, you Oh, Search for Bigfoot Tour 2010. We haven't found Bigfoot yet, but look who we found. Luigi, uh, Luigi and Mario. Look at those dickheads. All right. They should be plumbing, on. They should be plumbing oh, and finding the go princess talk. or some shit. We're going to go talk to these guys and ask them why they're, they're not saving the princess. Oh, hey, we, we're wondering if we could get some pictures with you guys. Excellent. Actually, we're also wondering why you're not out saving the princess. It looks like you're just screwing around. Aren't you worried that, aren't you worried that King Koopa's going to Fuck her up the butt or something while you guys aren't there. <laughs> yep. This cat right here does not like me. Doesn't like anybody. But I'm gonna pay it off. You see this? I'm gonna pay it off. Here, I'm gonna start with a ten. Are you ready? Come here. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm gonna throw another twenty in. Ready? Yep. Come here. I'm just. I'm trying to buy your friendship. You can buy. You can buy cat food with that. All right. We're going in for. These guys haven't fought yet, but it's probably gonna happen soon. Yeah, me and Matt are gonna beat each other up. It's gonna be fine. I'm gonna drop kick your fucking forehead. I'm gonna fucking punch him in the throat and watch him gasp for air. It's gonna be great. See? He gave me the stink eye. <laughs> How many shows do you think it'll be before you guys actually throw down? Uh, 20 minutes before this one starts. Yeah. Today? Maybe All actually right. right when it starts. I'm gonna start a betting pool. When it's gonna hey, did everybody remember to shave their pubes before the tour? Because I forgot. No, I definitely... <laughs> I like ice cream! It's awesome! I put it in a cone! And when you don't eat ice cream, leave me alone! Because this one's got chunks of cookie dough! When it comes to ice cream, I'm no rookie, no! I like it really cold! If you're a rapper, you wake up in the morning. Not only do you get at least two dozen blowjobs a day, you wake up and like you reach your hand in your pocket and oh, there's thousands of dollars in there. Plus, you go to brush your teeth; they're golden. It's amazing. It's the most amazing thing ever. So I suggest that you start rapping, and if you're good enough, you'll wake up, you'll get brush your golden teeth, you you'll water, get your dick sucked 24 this. times a day, you'll just you'll drink. Yeah, you do. You'll pour Hennessy down your face. 24-7 because it flows in the river of rap. 
music. Cool 45. And money. All day, every day. Get that money. <laughs> <laughs> Get that I wake, money. I pretty much wake up in piss excellence. Oh my god. I woke up and I pissed this. You see this? <laughs> this is like $10,000 that I pissed. It's currency. It's. Oh, I dropped $100? Uh, Big deal. Let the poor people pick that up. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Larry, well, I'm not Larry, you want to come grab this money off the ground? It's Corey's turn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Day four on the road. We're cleaning out the van because it's a goddamn mess. It's disgusting. Oh, it was worse. I should have seen it earlier. Uh, first thing I'm doing is throwing away Larry's tuna sandwiches. Look at this. He makes these sandwiches. He does not individually wrap them. He just throws them in a bag and then he puts it in the cooler. This is the grossest thing. It, if you could smell this through the TV, you would throw up. It's disgusting. So, Larry, goodbye. Your tuna's going in the trash. The fucking journey has just begun, kids.